Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano increased activity, and scientists are monitoring this now. This is the biggest, most active volcano in the world. There are other super volcanoes, of course, but they're not active as Mauna Loa is. This is on Zero Hedge by Tyler Durden, authored by Mac Slavo via SHTF plan. The Mauna Loa volcano is picking up the pace when it comes to volcanic activity. And we're going to see today's activity as well in the video. Now, scientists have begun monitoring the Big Island volcano. It's made up, as we know, of five volcanoes that make up the whole island. And uh, they're doing it just in case it could erupt violently. Mauna Loa is impressively close to Kilauea, the volcano which erupted for weeks last May. It stopped its activity in August. An eruption last year by Hawaii's Kilauea volcano destroyed more than 700 homes from May through August. Kilauea's current status is normal, but the landscape around the volcano has been permanently altered, creating 250 acres of new land. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory is closely monitoring Mauna Loa because conditions have risen to levels comparable to a more active period between 2014 and 17. This is according to the Hawaii Tribune Herald, as they reported on Sunday. According to Tina Neal, who is the observatory scientist in charge, she said an eruption could be anywhere from months to years away, but we do know that it's not days or weeks away. Either way, Neal does not believe Hawaii is in immediate danger of another destructive volcanic eruption. The activity of concern is an increase in earthquake activity. As we know, a couple of days ago, we had a 5.3 magnitude quake, and we've had aftershocks since then. The immediate aftershocks, uh, there was about 10 in the hour after that, about the biggest one being 3.5, and the island is still rocking. That earthquake was felt throughout all of the Hawaiian islands. Now, earthquakes on Mauna Loa dropped to less than five per, weeks, uh, per week in early 2018, but there have been up to 90 earthquakes weekly since August, with most considering mild at two magnitude or less on the Richter scale, Neil said. The most important thing is that there is no cause for alarm. Uh, the Kilauea eruption came shortly after a decrease in volcanic activity in Mauna Loa, but Neil said there is no perfect correlation between the volcanoes indicating one always becomes active as the other falls silent. And let's remember that their magma chambers are connected and they're also connected to the, uh, the uh, uh, undersea volcano, the uh, seamount, the Loihi seamount just south of Kilauea. So the uh, volcanoes correlate between each other, indicating one always becomes active as the other falls silent. But there was a 5.3 magnitude quake near Kilauea and Mauna Loa, according to the US, GS, uh, survey, U.S. Geological Survey, and Kilauea is on the opposite side of the island to the epicenter of the earthquake, which happened on Sunday. The USGS said the earthquake's epicenter was about eight miles northwest of the town of Kalao, Kalaoa, the tremor occurred in a depth of about eight miles, but that's not particularly deep for an earthquake of this magnitude, because it was big, 5.3, and they didn't downgrade that. Now, the USGS further said that the volcano has returned to green normal, which means the volcanic activity has ceased, and the volcano has returned to non-eruptive backstage background state. The best way to prepare for a possible volcanic eruption is to have a bug out bag ready, full of essentials, and have a place you can get to in a hurry. Most volcanoes are predictable, and a situation can change quickly. Being ready beforehand will give you the survivalist edge. And now let's go to the uh, Berkeley, uh, size of Berkeley, and we'll go into the activity there, also the USGS mapping of all the uh, quakes in the area. We'll see how Kilauea and Mauna Loa has done today. 
So here we are at uh, the Sizemore Berkeley map. We can see that we have a, a tremendous amount of the blue is last day. A tremendous amount on the west coast and of course uh, around the, uh, the uh, latitude, the um, longitude, sorry, the line uh, affecting uh, Yellowstone and the, yet the red is this the past hour. So going to this, we have the earthquake details having to do with where exactly it hit. And it hit at, as we can see here, just off uh, the south of the island, the big island, which is, of course, uh, Kilauea. And this is it. This is it. Nearby places, the Hawaii Paradise Park. OK, that's it. This is Kilauea. And uh, let's go to the. USGS. Okay, these are the magnitudes. This is uh, 2.1 that we saw before in the past hour. This is the past two hours, the orange in the past two days, and the yellow is the past two weeks. So this is Mauna Loa. Let's go in This is Loihi, as we said. The Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and Loihi Seamount, which is the undersea vault of volcano, they be, they believe that that's how the uh, procession will be going. Uh, as we saw before, the islands, all these islands, are over a hot spot. Okay, all of these islands are volcanic islands, and they proceeded over the passing of time over this hot spot, and this is the way they're going. So now, going back. Let's go back, put going back, sorry, what am I doing? Well, let's go back to our map of what's happening in Kilauea. There we go. Okay, in more. In more. Okay, this is the big one that we saw that was the 5.3. And this, we still have swarm, these are the, uh, the, uh, past two days that we saw. Okay, this is Mag 1.3, the past two days. Um, going in more. And we see that uh, Mauna Loa is full of quakes. These are the past two days, this is the past two weeks. And we've had the past two hours, the 2.1 on uh, in the area of uh, Kilauea. This is it right here. This is the fissure eight. The fissure eight, as we said, when it was going, we had the Pu'o crater going, and we had the Haluma'uma'u crater. Halim, other people say it like Halimau'uma'u. Other people say Haluma'uma'u. I don't know how to pronounce that. Halimau'uma'u. Uh, the uh, Pu'o crater, fissure eight, they said, uh, it was so uh, eruptive that it could be another volcano on its own accord. So this is where we have it as well now. And this is the Loihi area, the seamount. We've had a lot more here as well the past two days. Now you can see here. Uh, so, you know, they're both active. Kilauea and Mauna Loa are active. What is this one? This one is a 2.4. And this one here is a can see it? That is a 2. It looks bigger though. And that's a 2.3. That looks like a 2.3 to me. Maybe I'm putting it in the wrong place. Okay. And that's the past two days too. And you can see it's quite active. And um, going back. What happened to this? It went back in. Uh, we just said that's the yellow one. The, the red is. What is that? I want to see because it could be that not, not all the, uh, yeah, that's okay. That's the same one. It's in Kilauea. But we had the past day, we've had all of this one here as well. Okay. So um, what's the blue one back there? Okay, you can see that it's pretty active. And as we said, Mauna Loa is the biggest active volcano in the world. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.